What you got there? This? It's a pendant. I've seen that before. Isn't that Mila's? You said you treasured that pendant. I did. That's why I gave it to Jude. Hmm. A gift from Mila, huh? A treasured relic of Lord Maxwell herself. I wonder how much I could hawk that for. It's just a bead made out of glass. Its value is purely sentimental. How interesting. Could we ask you to tell us the story behind it? Was it about 14 years ago? I left near carriages for a day. I remember happening across some children and playing games with them. I thought you just stayed in your shrine while people worshipped you. Normally, yes. That was the first and last time I ever played like humans do. Even after I told them who I was, they didn't hold back in the slightest. They beat me soundly at tag in hide and seek. I'm glad you didn't use the power of the four to win. I might have, but I had ordered the four away on a special mission that day. So if they had been there, you really would have used them? A special mission for the four, 14 years ago, huh? They were wild, rambunctious children. But when I left, they gave me that glass bead and said we could play again tomorrow. They must have wanted to be friends. You know, I never felt closer to humans than I did on that day. That was when I knew I wanted to protect them. A lovely story. I know just how you feel. Spirit Climb and Lakutum keep... Oh, <laughs> 
see a sunset like this, I can't help but think of home. Give it to us straight, Doc. How's Mila doing? I understand this Asperixis device is quite advanced, but I can't imagine it could have healed such a grievous wound in so little time. When I first applied the Asperixis, it caused such intense pain that she passed out. But now that she's more used to it, she can tolerate it. As long as she doesn't exert herself. Doesn't sound like she's ready for any kind of battle. <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't give you such a hard time. It's not like Mila would let a little pain slow her down, right? Thank you for the explanation. We'll take the lead for a while, and give Mila time to rest. As long as I'm on the battlefield, I'm sure we'll get by. Thanks, guys. <laughs> traveled this deep into Ajul before. Nor I. In Rashigal, very little is known about the interior regions of Ajul. Well, if anyone has any questions, fire away. I've actually come here a number of times. Because you have a girl in Ajul? I came for work, mind you. Work. But sure, I may have met a few girls over the course of my duties. Not the most emphatic denial. Expecting a message, Alvin? Huh? I've seen him using that bird to send letters before. To a woman, apparently. Sorry, folks. I'll be done in a jiff. Everyone, take five. Hey, Mila. You gave something to Ivor a while back. Was it the thing you swiped from the laboratory? Yes. It was the Spyrex used to operate the Lance of Krasnik. That little thing? 
But shouldn't you keep it with you? No. In fact, it would be dangerous to get anywhere near the Lance of Kresnik with that Spyrex in hand. Oh, well, you know better than me. There is a problem, however. The channeling circle that bound and captured the four. I believe it was generated by that Spyrex. I will need to generate a channeling circle of equal power to release them. In other words, you'll need that Spyrex to save the four great spirits. I may need the four's power to destroy the Lance of Kresnik, too. The real question, then, is when should I retrieve the key from Ivor? Hey, does that mean you can also use Spyrex to cast arts? It's not just for the Lance of Kresnik? Hmm. What's the simplest way to explain this? Remember the street lamps in Fenmont? People light them with spirit arts. It's a simple parlor trick. Even a child could do it. But what happens if more powerful spirit arts are required? Those require a powerful caster. Someone with a mana lobe of sufficient capacity. The greater the capacity, the more mana can be produced when using arts. That capacity is determined at birth. It's immutable. Precisely. That's one of the laws of Riza Maxia. But a Spyrex doesn't rely on the caster at all. A caster wielding a Spyrex can power anything. From a tiny street light to a gigantic object like the Lance of Kresnik. Mana capacity ceases to be a limitation. But that sounds really handy. It is handy, and that's precisely why it's so dangerous. With the Spyrex, anyone can wield arts potent enough to capture the Four. And anyone can use that power to kill others. Just as they plan to do with the Lance of Kresnik. Anyhow, we should get going. She's right about one thing. Weapons like the Lance of Kresnik must be destroyed. But is Spyrex itself really such a bad thing? You seem to know a lot about golems. What was that you said about Earth Spirits? Golems are artificial constructs created by the Rashigol army through Earth Spirit channeling. They can only work within particular spirit climbs, but they're very powerful. Impressive. Isn't she smart? Although she did just hear all that from Rowan. So she's just the Conductor's parrot. Elise learns spirit arts through intuition alone, so she hasn't made a proper study of the subject. However, once she learns something, her ability to recall it is quite impressive. I learned a lot of other things, too. Like Femmon is protected to the north and south by golems, and the Fezabel Marsh. It's an impregnable defense. Impregnable, huh? Can you tell me what that means? Uh, um, well... <laughs> Perhaps it's time we expand our lessons beyond just spirit arts. Hey, Mila? Are you really Maxwell? I am. Had I not mentioned that yet? Ah, she is a human! Run away! Having seen the strength of Mila's resolve, I have no trouble believing that to be true. So how come you look so normal? I have taken physical form by using the elements within a human body as a catalyst. But it has proven to be an irksome vessel with many limitations. So Mila is Maxwell in a human body. Well, it doesn't change who she is, right? Let's leave it at that. It's still a little scary. But... Haven't you always known Mila to be scary when she's angry about something? I guess that's true. Are they afraid of me? Or is that a sign of respect? Well, I suppose either will do. Now, 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 now
Stay on guard. You owe me. It's not working? Got it. Stop notes that you gave to Mila. Notes? Uh, oh, those weren't notes. Those were free massage coupons. What? But why? Case closed. Just let it go already. Hey, Mila, what was in all those notes Leia gave you? Notes? Oh, those were... Free massage coupons. Huh? Oh, yes. They were free massage coupons. Perhaps I'll use one right now. One massage coming right up! 
Hmm, you sure are tense today. Am I? Hey, that... Hmm. Oh, whoa. Massages are not bad at all. I know, right? What is going on with these two? It's a pain, but I better try to bang out a letter. Let's see. Look, Alvin's writing another letter. My dearest, now that the interseasonals have blown their last, and the spirit climb has settled, my thoughts stray to you and your well-being. He's so formal. He's gotta be writing to a woman. That reminds me, Jude. How come you didn't answer any of the letters I sent to you in Fenmont? I didn't know what I was supposed to say. You only ever talked about yourself. Also, your penmanship could use some work. I can't believe you! You blow me off and still have the nerve to complain! But I could barely even decipher them. You yank the pen so hard it tears the paper. Well, maybe I'll just copy you. Your cutesy little bubble letters are straight from a little girl's diary. What? Guys aren't allowed to write neatly? That's sexist. I'm not being sexist! That's exactly how it looks! Then you've proven my point. You are sexist. <laughs> I'll never run out of things to write about with these people around. feeling well? Anyone need a break? I'm okay. You sure are friendly. I thought mercenaries were supposed to be gruff and scary. <laughs> That's just a stereotype. Although there certainly are a few like that. A true pro uses good manners and a kind demeanor to compensate for the job's shadier aspects. Huh. I guess Elvin would be even worse if he was rude as well as devious. <laughs> I suppose. Man, you really are cool if you can let comments like that roll off your back, little buddy. Right? Sass from stuffed animals, cheeky teenagers calling me little buddy. Nope, don't care one bit. Yeah. <laughs> 
to the village at once. Please, if something else were to happen to you, I don't know what I'd do. I cannot return yet. I have business in Fenmont. In that case, allow me to accompany you. That won't be necessary. I have all the help I need. From these people? These people, Jude and Leia here, helped me walk again. They can be trusted. Jude again? Uh. Nice to meet you. He's got some issues, huh? You must feel pretty pleased with yourself, now that Lady Mila is on her feet again. Well, I did promise I would help her walk again. And here she is walking. How dare you take credit for this miracle! It was all due to Lady Mila's divine power! It must have been! Maxwell, curse you! I was the one who was supposed to heal her! Uh, sorry? That's right. Beg for your forgiveness, you phony. Atone for your blasphemy! What is he talking about? It would seem Jude keeps the most eccentric company. All of his acquaintances are so... unique. Ivor, I gave you an important mission. Why are you here? I've not forgotten about the defense of the village. And the item you entrusted to me is safe. I have it hidden in a place known to no other. However, I recently received this. Maxwell is in grave danger. You must rescue her at once. I rushed forth immediately. I only just now caught up with you, Lady Mila. Who could have written something like this? I wonder. But in any case, it's mistaken. As you can see, I'm perfectly fine. Ivor, run! Oh, my God. 
there's always room for improvement. How? You call that timid? I thought you said the monster would be a pussycat now that it's solemn and renome is here. That should be the case. Unless... With the four great spirits missing, the spirit climbs have essentially stopped shifting. Great. How will we cross Fezabel Marsh to get to Fenmont? Yeah. Cross Fezabel Marsh? <laughs> you people are out of your minds! Only a wyvern could reach Fenmont at this point! Fortunately, it just so happens that I, the redoubtable handmaid, can be of assistance to Lady Mila. You know a way to get there? I have in my possession a wyvern, faithful only to me. I would be happy to transport Lady Mila to Fenmont. Ivor, is there any other way? Huh? Uh, well, uh... uh... There is, isn't there? Tell me. I have heard of a clan in Shandu that can control monsters. They raise wyverns there, apparently. I guess that's our next stop. Onward to Shandu. Ivor, thank you. Ivor? Uh, shall we go? Yeah. That's the bird that delivered the letter! You dirty bird! When Mila saves the four great spirits, she will need the key in your possession. This will be your chance to beat Jude once and for all. Wait until I contact you again. Then you will free the four great spirits and become Lady Mila's true champion. <laughs> you won't get the upper hand this time, phony!